Hello there, um, this is a short video, um, you can see I'm in HitFilm Express, but this little trick will work in almost any video editing software that I've ever seen. You do need to be able to reverse the footage, that's the one thing that might be a little bit um, extra to some packages I suppose. But anyway, HitFilm Express, certainly recommend it. The price is uh, a lovely round figure, uh, which uh, is great, and the, the functionality is, is great too, it's really good. So this is just a, a little video I was putting together and I just recorded very quick and dirty footage. Um, this might be a bit loud. Probably not. Okay, I'll put this down for a sec. So it's that bit at the end there where I say I put it down for a sec and you can hear that it's just there. So the, the, the sec is being said right at the end and the footage is gone oh dear you can't they're unusable basically no way you're going to want to wish it would stop more or less like that well what you could do is find you know a kind of i mean the, none of this footage is good but it would you know it's sort of like do find for where where it is more or less steady so about here um what you can do then is just cut that little last bit of footage now you can unlink the footage from the sound. And what we're gonna do is find the bit at the end here where it's sort of acceptable. That's not fantastic, but you know, that's sort of acceptable footage. Then I'm gonna just duplicate this. Um, so just, there, there are lots of different ways of it here, you know, copy, move the pointer somewhere else, paste. And then we need to reverse that footage. And as far as I know, the only way to do that in uh, HitFilm Express is to turn it into a composite shot. Um, just accept the defaults. That will then take you into the composite editor. You then um, add a new effect and the effect is temporal, i.e. time related, and time reverse. And that should have reversed that footage. You then come back out to the editor. Uh, again, an, a greater expert, perhaps somebody will kindly add it in the comments, how you make it so that the composite shot doesn't assume that there's sound, because there's no sound in that. Didn't want sound in it. Um, so I've just unlinked again. And deleted the sound and now I butt that back up and now because it's reversed footage and it's so, sort of steady it will just beautifully line up and so now all I've got to do is drag that back to the end and now yeah that little clip it's it's still yeah a fairly rubbishy little clip but now I could actually use Probably it. Probably not okay I'll put this down for a sec. So it cuts cleanly. I put it down for a sec. So some of you might not know that and hopefully you'll find that useful.